we keep, we keep, keep each other company. have made it to episode four of my brand new Lush series. So in this episode, I will concentrate on facial moisturizers. And yes, there are nine of them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I will be pretty much showing you every single one. Um, most of them I have samples of, so just bear with me on that. But at the very beginning, the very first clip, they all come in the same size. I try to categorize them from lightest facial moisturizer to heaviest, so if you have more dry skin, I would probably skip ahead a little. Enjoy! Let's start off with the lightest one, Enzymion, or Enzymion, I don't know, some people will pronounce it really different. This one's really fruity and refreshing. It has lemon, papaya, and wheatgrass germ oil, which will leave the skin bright, fresh, and balanced. So, especially for me, who has really oily skin, I love Enzymion just because it helps kind of calm everything down. And with oily skin, this is kind of always what people think. You want to get rid of all your oils. No, you do not. If you strip away all your oils, your skin's going to be like, ah, why am I dry? And then it will produce more. So you really want to keep everything balanced. All right, Vanishing Cream. So this one's really light and balancing. It's easily absorbed as a cream. It has lavender and witch hazel for soft and light feeling skin. <laughs> so this one's really nice. Actually, some people kind of debate that this one's actually the lightest, but this is my video and this is my opinion, all right? So if you're actually not even sure when to put on facial moisturizer, you want to put it on after you cleanse your skin. So after you wash all the dry skin and all the dirt off in the morning or after a long day, you want to put this on after. Or of course, if you have really dry skin, to put it on before bedtime is amazing too. Imperialis. For skin that just can't make up its mind. So if you have dry skin one day, oily skin another day, acne prone, like crazy, blackheads, honestly, and you're just all over the place, which is actually really common for when the world is changing seasons. So like for example, right now during the winter time season, yeah, your skin's probably all over the place, honey. This is a really light formula with lavender, orange flowers, and tiger lilies to help balance the skin. Most of these products actually do have lavender, and lavender is really nice to kind of ease the skin. And also, your mind, honey, if you're feeling stressed out, just take a little sniff of lavender, please. Ooh, alright, sorry everybody, I actually ran out of my pot, so... I didn't even have the sticker to show you, but this one is Celestial. I'll show you at the very end. It's simple, gentle, and heavenly. It has soothing orchids steeped in almond oil to calm the skin. So like I said before, if usually there's lots of oils and butters, this will actually help calm your natural oils down. So weird, I know. It also has lots of fruit and vanilla. Okay, this one is called Skin Shangri-La. <laughs> so there's two that actually have the word skin in them, so this is really confusing, and I'm gonna do my best to remember this one. It's rich with a silky cream with fresh wheatgrass juice and cold-pressed oils for a luxurious feeling on the skin. What cold-pressed means is they don't heat it up and stir it. They literally take it cold and just press it all together in that container. It's quite cool. All right, everybody, get your wallets ready because Gorgeous Facial Moisturizer is the most expensive item in the entire store. I know that this sample pot is not doing its justice, but it is really expensive because it is heavenly. Listen up. Gorgeous, when only the very best will do. It's freshly juiced fruits with cold-pressed and organic oils for brightened, revived skin. So like I was mentioning earlier, cold press means when they literally don't even heat it up, so it's harder to kind of squeeze all in one. Gorgeous actually has fruits and vegetables 
that are cold pressed. So just imagine heating up a carrot, you know, for your motherfucking stir fry. And then you take a raw carrot and break it in half. What's the difference? Yeah, the heated one is going to be a lot softer and easier to cut, where the raw one will actually, you'll hear that crunch. It'll be raw and fresh. This also has honey, olive, citric acid. It's amazing. Honestly, I'm buying this one tomorrow. So save up, because I am. We are almost done, friends. This is Skin Drink. It's hydrating and softening. It has sesame oil and avocados to nourish your skin, almost like leaving a supple protective layer on your skin. So this one is quite thick, as you can tell. It does have like a kind of like a beige tone. And if you have noticed, most of them kind of do look a little different. They're not just, you know, plain white like you always see at the drugstores or whatever. These actually, you can see all the ingredients that were stirred into it. So no food coloring was added or I don't even know if that would make any sense. But anyway, so skin drink. It has aqua, sesame, rose, uh, propylene. I don't even know what the hell that is, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> so if you're the type of person that loves to put on facial moisturizer before bed and you just love feeling that your skin is getting so hydrated and nourished, this is a great one because it'll actually leave that thick, nice, rich layer. I love how I'm looking at back at all of these videos and I tape them all so randomly. <laughs> like, anyway, this is Cosmetic Lad. Actually, it was a misprint. It was supposed to be cosmetic uh, lab, but somebody put a D by accident and it's just stuck ever since, okay? So don't judge. This is really s to soften and smooth your skin. It'll calm it down with the cooling aloe vera in it and soothing lavender honey water. This one is really thick and I have really oily skin, so this is not the best one for me per se because we are kind of moving on to the end of the video so these are a lot thicker and for some reason somebody told me to get cosmetic lad a long time ago like two years ago and I hated it it was so bad and Lush actually has a great exchange policy so if something's not working out for you literally just bring it back and they'll like refund you or you could swap which I didn't do though but I learned my lesson Oh my god, we're at the last one. I should have known because Cosmetic Lad was just before this, but this is Magical Moringa. And I know what you're thinking. This looks like a paste. It actually is. This is by far the thickest one, but there's a really good reason for that. So it has beauty oils to create magic pretty much. Argan, Moringa, rose hip oils to leave the skin matte. So see how I'm going to take like a swab? Literally, I'm just going to rub it in for like five seconds and look, bam, it's gone. It is so weird. It's really good as like a primer for makeup. So lots of people actually buy this one for that reason. Most people don't really moisturize their face with it because it is so thick and matte. Unless you have like crazy oily amount of skin, like so much that Cosmetic Lad can't even help you out. This one will actually kind of like suck it all in and... Almost like how you're printing out a picture and they give you that option like glossy or matte. Yeah, your skin's going to look like this. Woo! We finished off with a bang. And because there were nine, I'm going to list below. So click down below and I'll kind of give key points of every single one and list them in order if you goddamn forgot because so did I, honey. Stay tuned next week during my Lush series of fun different areas of the store. I will be bringing them every seven days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.